Hello ladies and gentlemen, my name is Simon and welcome back to another reaction to The Clone Wars. Now we're on season 3, episode 3. I always like the episodes that match the season number. <clears throat> so, let's um, yeah, let's see where we're up to here. Um, last time that we had the two kind of connected episodes, uh, episode number 1 and 2, where we saw, um, you know, Fives, Echo and Heavy uh, sort of graduating from clone trooper school and then in the last episode we saw the invasion of Kamino which was a really good episode I thought I don't know why you guys said that the first 12 episodes weren't that good I, I really enjoyed that um so yeah I wonder if we'll pick up from there or if we'll move on to something different uh, for this episode I guess we'll just have to jump in and see won't we Running out of food and water, and our heavy weapon systems are out of power. I'll contact our forces in orbit. I'm Rob Down. This is General Dai. We're in trouble down here. We need those supplies immediately. Oh, wow. I understand, Channel, but I am in no position to help. We are critically low on fuel and ammunition. Contact the Jedi Council again. Tell them reinforcements must be dispatched without delay. Surely there must be something you can do. Systems are shutting down. We are dead in space. With regret, I report that my fleet will no longer be able to provide protection for the troops on Rylon. I repeat my request and help be sent right away. The shields are gone. We have no... He's dead. <clears throat> Trapped on Ryloth. Master Dai and his men are. We've dispatched a ship loaded with relief supplies to meet you on Toydaria. You are a more experienced diplomat than the representative from Naboo, who is already there. Senator Amidala is an excellent negotiator. I am sure that... Senator Amidala will no. leave the Senate. Representative Binks accompanied the shipment. You must negotiate the treaty so that we... Oh, we've gone the whole Toydaria. season two and without right him. The relief supplies it needs. I understand perfectly. <clears throat> Stop where you are, Upwelder. We will provide you whatever you need to continue your journey. But you may not leave this ship. I am Senator Bail Organa of the Galactic Republic. I come to speak with the High Exalted King of Toydari. Hello! Let me sit through. Missa on a diplomatic mission. Senator Organa! It's a pleasure to be seeing you, sir. And you, Representative Binks. Shall we? Our laws of hospitality demand that we offer assistance. But this planet is closed to off-worlders. We are obliged to deliver our message to your king in person. It won't take a minute. Well, hopefully he won't be like that much. Hello! To Sir Majesty! Let me do the talking, okay? Yes, Jar Jar. Never speak again. State your business, Offworld. Representative Binks of Naboo. Senator Bail Organa of Algaran, sire. We have come to ask for your help. Humbly beg that you allow us to use Toydaria as a staging ground to supply the planet with relief aid. Do not make your decision in haste, uh, Your Majesty. There that's are where I'm other from. Factors you might wish to consider. From the last episode, we saw Padme, I think it was, but she got poisoned. I believe you know Lot Dodd, Senator for the Trade Federation. Yes, we are acquainted. Senator? Begging your highness, what's a he doing here? Why shouldn't he be? Toydaria has an important contract with his Trade Federation. The Trade Federation is too chummy with the Separatists for my taste. We have nothing to do with the Separatists. Newt Gunray is an extremist. His views do not reflect those of the Trade Federation. Mm, Perhaps not, sure. but you can understand the confusion. We you just use the same droid army, the same ships. The agreement between Toydaria and the Trade Federation. Wow, some heavy fighting. Oh, that was close. General Dai, the right 
flank has collapsed. The droids will be closing in on our position. What about reinforcements? Communication has been spotty. I promise you, Jeff, the Republic will not abandon Rhinor. I've heard enough of your promises, Jedi. The fact remains, if we stay here without reinforcements, we're all <coughs> going to die. Gobi, tell the people we're leaving. Yes, sir. Uh, Gobi. I don't think you understand. The right flank has collapsed. There's no leaving. We're stuck here together. Your Majesty, the people of Ryloth did not ask to be invaded. Do not let them suffer because war came to them. I sympathize with the plight of the Twi'leks. But this is not about saving them when they are fighting against the Separatists. Thank you, Senators. You have given us much to consider. All of these words are going through, and the only I thing that I think is that that guy's hat looks like a squid. Come That's on, all that I can think. Hurry. Captain, is the gunship ready? Yes, sir. But it's too small to evacuate the refugees. No escape. But our families are with us. Ah, if we reconfigure the fuel system, we can turn the ship into a bomb big enough to collapse the pass here. The enemy will then only be able to engage us on one front, from this ravine. While we provide cover, the Twi'leks will have time to escape with the families over the mountain. Brilliant strategy, General. I'll go tell the men. And you must guarantee that the Trade Federation will not be able to link Toydaria to the mission. Agreed. I have an idea. <laughs> what is this idea? I'll signal you when the ships are ready to depart. Misa won't let you down, Senator. <laughs> Pleased you could join us, Senator. Your Majesty, the pleasure is mine. Formal dinners are so tedious. I am afraid that pressing matters require me to make immediate contact with Alderaan. But I leave you in the capable hands of my colleague, Representative Binks. There is a gunship blocking our way. OM5, OM7, go check it out. Roger, roger. Just blow it up. That's all you have to do. Careful. It might be full of clones. Uh, no clones. Just explosives. Explosives! <laughs> gotcha. Wow, that's a big ridge. Plans working so far. Oh, what? That is a weird table. The ships are ready to launch. Uh, Lisa proposing a conceptual work of art to honor the ambassador of Trade Federation. Sorry, no one as clumsy as him can do that. Mm. I just do not believe anyone as clumsy as him. What are you looking at? 
Misa look at nothing. Oh no 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 Misa look at nothing. Misa uh, are creating and sharing Gungan ritual style art with trade federation to promote love and understanding. For the Republic! For the Sweden! <laughs> Do all captains just fight with two handguns? Oh, grenade. Oh, is he dead? Yeah. On his own, then. Oh, I don't know how you're getting out of this one, mate. Captain Cutie, I'm not finished yet, sir. We can do this, General. Can you, though? Can you really? Let's make the end memorable. Oh, no. Just felt it feels like such a mismatched ending to the episode. It's food and medical supplies from the Republic. You look pale, sir. I have just received information that a fleet of Republic ships has penetrated the blockade around Ryloth. How do they get through the, the blockade, though? The Federation has proof of any treaty violation. You are welcome to present it to the full Senate. It takes years for the Senate to decide anything. You play a dangerous game, Ordana. Next time, you will not get away with this. The Republic mm. has heart, my friend. But I am not convinced it has the strength to prevail. That was a very uh, unusual episode. Um, up until the ending, I was going to say, you know, it's a very weak episode. In that, there was nothing really that was going on. Um, you know, it's bad enough with Jar Jar. And I don't want to feel like I keep on, you know, bashing Jar Jar. But specifically in these Clone Wars uh, series, he just doesn't seem to serve any purpose. Other than to provide a bit of, um, you know, comedy for the kids. Um... The sacrifice at the end of the Jedi and the clones just seemed completely out of place with the tone of the episode. Um, you know, it certainly was a strong sentiment, and it was a strong scene, but I felt it should have been put in a different episode. It wasn't served very well in this episode. You know, you can't go from having Jar Jar being a comedian dancing on a table, um, you know, to then having a Jedi and the clone troopers sacrificing themselves. Um... You know, to, to get the supplies in, it just felt very mismatched. Um, so, yeah, not great, but not terrible. Um, but, oh, well, as you've said, things improve from here. So, yeah, we'll just see what happens. But, um, as always, thank you for watching. Um, subscribe for more, and I will see you for episode four.